This is Juris Destiny, Episode 15, Safe Academy. Honorable Judge James Anthony Hendrick Jr. presiding. Get ready, because court class is in session. Court class is in session, call to order. I apologize, it has been a while since I've been able to really apologize to you, and I've been juggling a lot of podcasts and a lot of projects uh, while uh, taking care of uh, my dear sweet mother. So, you know, I hope you've been able to get to catch up some reading on the winning personality, a values-based approach to entrepreneurship in this economy. Hope you catch up on some, some reading, because a real entrepreneur reads, okay? That's point of order. That's point of order, okay? Now, we're going to be talking about faith. Now, now, calm down. I know some of you, Jimmy, come on. You're you're going to mix, you're going to mix business and faith? Give me a break. No. Order, order. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is this is how it goes. This is how it goes. All right. You need to have faith in something beyond yourself, whether it's God or the process, whatever it is. I recommend faith in in in, in God. And if you're going to law school, want to be on the uh, want to be an entrepreneur, beyond just the entrepreneur and some of the other clubs and organizations you may want to be a part of to be well-rounded. And I do recommend that you be well-rounded. And a part of being well-rounded with that winning personality, according to Chapter 6, yeah, I know it's been a while since since we've done anything. We're going to Chapter 6. We're talking about faith today. Okay? We're talking about faith. And that is such a wonderful blessing. Such a wonderful blessing. I'll tell you something. God, He is wonderful. He really is. He has blessed me so much beyond compare. And I know it. I know it. Now, I know that there is a bell that says the class is in, in session, but this is a courtroom. This is a courtroom. This is studio. Here's a courtroom. Even though it's a little broken down man cave for me, it's it's a court right now. God is gracious. Having faith in him is important. It matters not to me whether it's the Christian uh, Law Society the J. Reuben Clark Society, or any other, any other legal society that deals with your faith. If you don't have such thing in your law school, and you know at least maybe oh, two or three or more that are with you, form, form you a club, okay? Whether it's recognized or not, because it's important that you be well rounded in your faith. Okay? It's important that you be well-rounded in your faith. I like to mix business with faith. Okay? I like to mix business with religion. Some some people, you know, compartmentalize. I remember watching Law and Order one time, and uh, Detective Curtis was saying, you know, uh, to, to Jack McCoy, you know, debating some issues regarding the Catholic Church and Jack McCoy's vi- vi- deal. And, and Ray Curtis says, you're a Catholic. And Jack McCoy says, not at work. And Ray Curtis says, pardon me, but whether it's my public life or private life, I am, you know, a Catholic through and through. And, through. and that's how I feel about my faith. I'm a Latter-day Saint. I'm a Latter-day Saint through and through. You cannot separate the temporal from the spiritual. I said that in the Power 360, a podcast that I have, okay? And unless I see necessary, never the twain shall meet. <laughs> because this is this is a, a niche audience. This is a niche audience, and I want you guys to know that you need to have faith. 
you need to have faith. I remember when I wrote that book, and um, Bishop Dave's wife's em- wife Emily was helping me proofread it. You know, and then two, there's two chapters back to back, and she's like, "We were like, why are you writing so much about people with with faith and and character stuff when it's an entrepreneurship book?" I said, "These are these are principles. These are these are values." Because originally it was um, the winning personality, ten traits for entrepreneurs in this economy, and then after going after proofreading those two uh, two chapters with her, it changed into the winning personality, a values based approach to entrepreneurship. Okay, here at Juris Destiny Academy, here at Juris Destiny Academy, point of order, point of order here, you are going to get a values-based education. Okay? Now, I haven't decided whether there is going to be a summer semester. I don't know. All depends on what goes on this summer. <laughs> Could be on the spring speaking trail for, for all I know. Probably not so much colleges, but you know whether that and other organizations. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? Now, I hope that you enjoyed listening to Juris Destiny Academy. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the Juris Destiny Academy uh, family. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Chase destiny more than dollars. Take care. God bless.